Hey, I'm Leroy, and this is Around My House, and in this video, we're going to be talking about replacing uh, fluorescent lights with LED lights. Hey, so you can see I have several uh, tubes laid out. Uh, this is LED uh, URI. I got it from a thousandbulbs.com. Um, this is a regular fluorescent as a comparison. And um, this is Philips that I got from Home Depot, but not in the store. I got it online. They don't seem to have it in the store. Um, so, how do they compare? Um, well, they all go, like I said, in a 2 by 2 foot uh, fluorescent fixture. You put a pair of them in. Um, the two sets of LED are both 2100 looms. I believe this is 28 uh, 100 looms. Um, so we'll see, you know, how that looks. And they're all about 4,000 or 4,100 uh, K spectrum. Now you notice a few things here. Um, this one right here, as you can see, is squared off, whereas this one, LED, is um, curved, much like the fluorescent. So, I believe this actually causes a little confusion, um, because you look at it and you're like, is this really going to fit? It doesn't look right. <laughs> um, I actually looked at it for a while before I ended up getting it, but yes, it does fit. Um, and as you can see, it's a very similar size, but I really think they should... Uh, be more clear that this will fit because it does create confusion. So the big question when it comes to LED is how much money are you going to save? Because it's really, you're, save, you're wanting to save power, you're wanting to save money. Um, and there's a few problems with kind of working that out. Now the first thing is that I should also point out that these are direct uh, replacements. Uh, you can also get ones where you're taking the ballast out because as you recall there's a ballast and it's kind of around the ballast that the confusion about how much power you're using comes in because there's a power factor and you need to multiply um, what your kind of nameplate uh, power is by the power factor. So this one right here and is 32 watts. Uh, as you notice this says in big letters 32 watts replacement it's going to do 13 watts with LED. Um, well you need to multiply the 32 watts and actually since it's a pair of them it's 64 watts. You don't want to multiply that by your power factor. In my case my power factor is uh, 0.88 so you multiply it by 0.88. So you're not really using 64 watts, you're using a bit less, and then you don't know what to add back in the, the how much power the ballast is taking. And that's where things get confused, even more confusing, because what does a ballast take? Well, for a two bulb, um, it's around 5 watts. So by the time you do all that, you come out to um, about 60 one watts. Um, so, uh, and then how much do these use? Well, this says 15 watts and this says 13 watts. Um, so is this really more efficient than this? Well, it kind of depends on whether they're multiplying it by the power factor or if they just going ahead and and calculating the power factor. And so, for all we know, they're calculating the power factor in because if you took 0.88 um, times 15, you get about 13. So maybe these are using the same thing. Who knows? I don't know. But um, so I would say kind of the best guess is to is to assume it takes about half the amount of power <laughs> and do your your calculations on that. So then it comes down to how much do we use it. So in my case I'm using it about four hours a day 
Um, so that comes out to about 1460 um, hours a year, and I'm going to round to 1500. Uh, so if you take 1500 times the amount of wattage on we're saving for the fixture, it's a pair of bulbs, um, that's 30 watts. So, and then we're going to want to divide by a thousand to get into kilowatts, so that's 45 kilowatts. So if we then take the 45 kilowatts and we're going to multiply that by how much a kilowatt hour cost us, um, and in my case that's 15 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, it does vary a little bit throughout the year, but it's about 15 cents. Um, and so we get uh, $6.75. Uh, so that's the amount of savings we get per fixture, which has a pair of um, bulbs in it. So then we want to look at how much it costs us um, to purchase these. So a pair um, of them from a thousand bulbs.com, the URI model, um, that's going to be 4360. Um, so that's including shipping and taxes, so your cost is going to vary a little bit. From Home Depot, the Phillips is $31.74, um, and yours will vary also because of the taxes, though. Home Depot as shipping free. So in the first case we want to look at if we were replacing existing bulbs. So we're taking the full cost um, of the purchase. So if we divide 43.60 by the six dollars and seventy-five cents in savings um, of the URI, we're going to get uh, six um, 0.46 years to pay it off. In the case of the Phillips from Home Depot, it's going to take 4.7 years. Um, then I also wanted to look at um, if I was, let's say my bulbs broke and I was putting in new ones, what's the difference between uh, fluorescent and LED? Um, and savings. So, so the fluorescent, um, and and in this case, um, since I haven't bought any fluorescent from thousandbulbs.com, I don't know the exact cost. So I'm just using what it would cost me typically at Home Depot in the store. Um, so that's about twenty-one dollars and fourteen cents. Um, once again, taxes may cause that to vary. Um, so, if we take um, our previously mentioned price uh, for purchasing the LED and we subtract out the cost of the fluorescent, um, we then get for the URI uh, 2246. And in which case, if we divide uh, that by the savings, um, it's going to take about three and a third years to pay it off. Um, for the Phillips, um, it's a little cheaper, so uh, we do the math, we get $10.60, uh, and that's going to divide in... Um, and we get uh, about 1.57, so that's a bit over one and a half years. So after the payoff period, you're then just saving money. So now let's take a look at them in operation. All right, so here's the Yuri on the left with a regular fluorescent on the right. And here you have the uh, Phillips on the left and the regular fluorescent on the right. And here you have the Phillips on the left and the URI on the right. So you can see the two LED ones and how they compare. 
So there we have it, uh, LED replacement uh, for U-Bend fluorescence. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and don't forget to like my video. Thank you.